You know, people have often said that I have a radio voice, also a radio face. I think it was a compliment as well. And today we're gonna talk about radios. For these are the top 7 best radio stations in video games. Radio stations that not just blurted out music, no no no. It's not about the music, it's about how good a radio station fits into the game's world. How well did it do when it tried to describe it with its soundscape, with its characters, with its voices. And voices are a big part of it. I'm not putting any kind of radio station here that just has music, which I know that disqualifies a lot of the Grand Theft Auto radio stations, but Grand Theft Auto has a lot of great talk radio as well, and they will be in the show. So that being said, let's get it started with number seven, Alan Wake. You know what's really nice about Alan Wake? It really does a good job of setting up the people, the places, the characters, and the radio is a part of that. Not just because you will listen to some very, very good music through the radio, but also because you get a real feel for the world, the inhabitants, the characters, the troubles they go through when they lose their dogs, the close ties in the community where everybody knows who everybody is and they will call to the radio quite often to talk about little things like seeing famed author Alan Wake in town. It's a really nice little piece. It doesn't really have a lot of content to it. I think there's at most a half an hour of radio in it compared to what GTA usually has with hours and hours and hours but it's it's nice. It's well made. But I think love's where you look for it and you need to do a lot of looking sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you. Number 6. Deus Ex Human Revolution This game didn't just have a bunch of emails that you could read through because people would not really care that much what passwords they put on their computer or they could be easily hacked or they used Yahoo, but it also had a radio station, a particular one, hosted by somebody that seemed a bit like a madman called Lazarus that kept on spotting off about oh conspiracies in Illuminati and oh they're coming to get us and oh technology that's kind of a bad thing but also this thing's a bad thing and everything's a bad thing don't trust the government they're out to get you they want you to trust him but you should not and he's in a van somewhere he's running around the country because if he stands still for one second if they get him they will waterboard him and probably kill him or something like that and he has a hacker friend that tries to keep him safe and thing is everything that the guy ever said in the game was true everything and i do think he does get captured and uh, his hacker friend gets waterboarded in the second one or before it and it's actually quite funny is how he manages to talk about the exact same thing that you're doing right now it's almost as if he's watching you or you are listening to him or the illuminati are pulling both your strings could be either could be both could be all three of them could be four more you never know what the illuminati do you you never do hey it's still up for debate whether most people would like to live in a filthy fema camp or toronto but i digress hey listen you could always go to mexico Number 5. Prey. When it comes to radios, Prey really went above and beyond the usual variety. Because not only did it have an in-game radio show that was meant to highlight the impact that the alien menace had on Earth while you were up in space, but it did so while using as much seriousness as possible. Because the voice of the person on the radio, the host of the paranormal show to which people call into and complain about UFOs is a person named Art Bell. Now here's the thing, Art Bell isn't fictional, he's an actual radio show host that has an actual radio show about the paranormal, like in reality. Now that may not be a detail that matters to a lot of people, but it is something that really kind of set it apart. It gave it a sense of rather as a sense of importance it's a bit higher than what you normally see in other radios i mean radios they try to be a bit serious believe it there's lights in you mean in the sky right now yeah right now it's it's amazing where everywhere right over my house they're, they're moving from Number 4. Tropical 3. Now, here's the thing about Tropical 3's radio. It's composed of two inseparable parts. You have the outstanding music, without which Tropical would not be Tropical. And you also have Juanito. Juanito is the DJ who will not only present music to you, but he will talk about current affairs. About recent changes you've made, about the election coming up or not coming up, about 
you know how the economy is doing and you yourself as well president they will sometimes intervene and say things like uh, oh things are not all that great but it's all due to the uh, world economy and the uh, situation and the depression and it's not my fault I certainly don't have a giant Swiss bank account and leaving you people to eat mud. I think that's what our El Presidente used to say to us as well and then laugh like an idiot. But what really sets Tropico 3 apart is that you have edicts that you can issue, edicts that can do things and one of them is Shut Up Juanito, where um, you kinda hear Juanito going about how his radio station, the TNT radio station is the bomb and by coincidence that's when uh, some explosion explosive detonates and kills Juanito and he'll shut up for the rest of the game. He'll just be left with the music. That degree of interactivity is marvelous. The season has started and all Tropicans with right minds are staying in the pub or home drinking, excluding those working of course. For the others, listen to our station and relax. Number 3. The Fallout 3 and New Vegas radios. Now I could only decide between them because they are both quite good. On the one hand, you have Fallout 3 that has 3-dog and you can go and meet 3-dog. He can be a bit annoying but you can shoot 3-dog, that's what I'm saying. And he plays really fantastic music that sets up a mood for Fallout 3 that I guess nobody expected honestly. We knew the kind of music that Fallout had, what Fallout felt like, but this set a new direction for Fallout. Well, the game itself set a new direction for Fallout, but the way it did with the music, that just stuck. That was a 10 point perfect landing. No matter how kind of any the rest may have been, that radio station was the bomb. The nuclear bomb if you will. And New Vegas also had amazing superb music that fit everything so well and it was hosted by none other than Mr. New Vegas and the game's world, but his voice. That is actually Wayne Newton. And if you don't know who Wayne Newton is, well, uh, I kind of know him from movies where he kept getting referenced, honestly. He's a big kind of show guy in, in Las Vegas. But so he fits so well in the world. And without either of those radios, without those hosts that talk to you sometimes, I mean, not just face to face, but talk to you through the radio, tell tales of your exploits, without those, both these games would be the lesson. Men and ladies, boys and girls, prepare to be astounded, bedazzled, and otherwise stupefied. I'm Three Doll, your master of ceremonies. Your Number 2. Grand Theft Auto Vice City, namely KChat. I know that everybody has their own favorite Grand Theft Auto radio, but to me this is the best one. Amy Schick's talk show was perfect. She would have guests that embody the weirdness and strangeness of this world with a heavy dose of satire and parody at the expense of the real world. Amy had really strange guests. She had a guy that kept saying he was Thor, the guy of thunder and he went on about how great longboats are she had a witch basically she had a guy that was really obsessed with animals not a good way it's way over an hour long it's almost two hours long it's filled with commercial breaks with funny ads in them that are it, it's, it's it's the epitome of Grand Theft Auto Radio, in my opinion. You just kind of wish there was more. Because Lazlo, he's in almost all the games. So is Fernando, and you kind of have to face it. They wear thin by the time they get to GTA 5. They've done pretty much everything that could have been done again and again and again. But Amy was in just Vice City. And she absolutely shine. But not as much really as... Gross. You live like it's 982 AD or something. Mind ye tongue, wench, lest I cut it out. Deep down, all of you listening to me say, Thor, yes, I'd like to unleash them. Number one, Deb of Night. Where from, you may ask? Why, of course, from Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Deb of Night is the best radio show in any video game. And Deb herself is the best host. This is a radio show that takes place in a world where vampires exist. It's a late night, really late night radio show that's basically only listened to by weirdos and vampires or people who are working late shifts this was before smartphones so you know people 
listen to radio. It's got a mix of satire and the many commercials that are peppered throughout the uh, the show. A bit of seriousness, humor interjected from now and again with the cookie guests, and a superb mood to it. Like Deb sets the mood for this entire game, for the smoothness of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. She's your companion all throughout, always making note of your progress. Well, incidentally, tangentially actually, she doesn't really talk about what you do but the effects of what you do from time to time. You kind of get a sense that she knows what's up. Either she's used to the weirdos calling in constantly, just saying hi Deb, hi Deb, hi Deb, and then hanging up, or she may in fact be one of the children of the night. Who knows? You never get to meet Deb in the game, probably for the better. Her mysterious voice will always permeate the airwaves. It's an acoustic shroud that drenches this entire game in a sense of style. If that makes sense, I don't know, I'm kinda sick honestly, you may have noticed from my voice. Hello LA, you're up way past your bedtime aren't you? Hope you've slipped into something comfortable, I know I have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to the Deb of Night. But that's it for the top 7 best radio stations in a video game. I would give a few special mentions to the uh, the DJ from uh, I think yeah, Far Cry 4. I think you get to meet him as well and he says some cookie stuff. To the DJs and radio shows from uh, the Burnout series while I still had it. And of course to all the other ones from the Grand Theft Auto series. And if you're wondering, well, that's all? Where is the dress unknown? Well, that was a TV show, so that's gonna be safe for a separate video one day. Goodbye.